What's going on everyone? Alex De Silva, Happy As Larry Group. I hope you are well and welcome to your daily dose of happiness. Today I want to talk about something which for me I have to deal with still. Not as often as I had to previously um, but it still kind of creeps up and it's still something that I have to go through you know every now and again. So uh, I want to talk about depression today and not to kind of bring the mood down because this is daily dose of happiness but to hopefully help you to, to have some hope and some courage to do something different and to actually get the help necessary in order to help you with, with, your, with your depression. So what I want to talk about today is how to deal with, with depression as a man. Um, and I'm going to talk from, from my personal experience and explain a little bit about depression and how it's affected me and how it affects us on a, on a day-to-day basis. So, depression is, is a mood disorder, uh, I think as most of us know, and it's that feeling of constantly feeling low and down all the time and just having no interest of, for, for doing anything. And when it kind of gets deeper and deeper, depression has, you know, it can really affect how you feel, how you think, how you behave, and it can really affect our physical and mental well-being as well. And I've struggled with that for, for a long, long time. And there were times when, you know, it lasted for a little bit, and there were times when it lasted for a long time. And, you know, the, the, the worst times for me was you know when it kind of made me feel suicidal if i'm completely honest and the reason i want to talk about it today particularly you know how men can deal with this um, more effectively more positively because we as a society have kind of got to, to to a place where you know it's everything is about having a stiff upper lip is you know we will be okay and let's just get on with it and you know let's crack on and you know and, and let's boss forward you know because you know this is what we do and we don't show weakness and i held on to those things you know without having any real teaching or understanding or guidance about my emotions and what was really going on for me so i never really understood how to deal with with depression as a man effectively what do i need to do about this how do i change the way i feel you know and, and how can i feel better i don't want to keep feeling the way that i'm feeling because it affects everything in my life so i started to understand that what needed to change to start with was my perception around what depression was and how it was making me feel kind of understand what it was doing to me so i looked into it and started to understand it affects my mood and how i'm feeling it makes me feel low um, low of energy just low of interest in doing anything and i don't want to be around anybody i don't want to to partake in anything i just want to isolate and all of these words are very key words because what depression did for me is it shut me away from the world why because I would then think, I don't want to feel like this, but the world keeps telling me that I need to man up and I don't have the energy to do that anymore. I don't know what to do about this anymore. So the next thing for me is to isolate myself away from the world and to just try to deal with this in, in the best way that I can. And unfortunately, a number of times, you know, it, it wasn't in a good way. So I started to realize that this is a, a temporary, it can be a temporary disorder. Yes, there are medicines out there and some people take them and they take them successfully. Personally, they don't work for me and they didn't. It actually made me feel worse. So I went to my doctor and I said, look, you know, this is not something that's for me. What can I do instead? And I started to kind of engage in the things that I practice now, the things that I teach now. Why? Because these are natural things that are happening in our body. These are general, you know, these are natural chemical reactions, you know, imbalances, but these are things that we can work through. And I started to understand, oh, okay, so I actually I can do something about this. So what can I do? And depression is everything is about being very low and just very down and just, you know, 
low energy. So what I needed to do is slowly start to understand and put practices in place to help me to, to, to get to that kind of the, the, the upper level where I can just feel me again, where I can just get up and just enjoy my day, enjoy being me. <clears throat> First thing I needed to do was to talk to someone, was to talk about it, to talk about what was going on for me, whether that was a partner, whether that was a friend, whether that was you know family or a professional. And I went to a professional and, and spoke to someone about it and actually told them what was going on for me. <clears throat> and what happened, which you know I'm so grateful for, is I almost felt like I was just spilling everything out. All of these things that were just stuck inside me, I was just spilling them out. And realized that actually it made me feel better. So that was the number one thing that I needed to do. It kind of notched my, my energy level up a little bit. And then I started to realize, okay, so how do I continue this? I continue this by changing my thinking, by changing how I'm, you know, what I'm experiencing. And how do I do that? Is I get back into the driving seat and I start putting positive practices into place. So depression, as it kind of drags us down, we need something that's going to drag us up, that's going to pull us upwards. So what's the number one thing that I found and I have seen a number of time, a number of other people talk about this, and I have seen countless, um, you know, pieces of information out there to say that this works. And it's gratitude, practicing gratitude. And I started to think, what the hell is gratitude going to do for me? How is writing gratitude going to make me feel better? Well, think about it. Depression and gratitude are complete polar opposites. One of them is about staying in fear, misery, depression, low energy. The other one heightens everything, every positive chemical in your body. And that's exactly what you need. You need that shot of, of gratitude in your life, that positive lift to help you to get out of that. So talking to someone was one of them. Then I started practicing gratitude every single day for the smallest to the biggest things. Why? Because it naturally, as I said, it releases the endorphins, those beautiful chemicals in your, in, in your brain that just lights everything up. And it helps you to see the world in a different place. It helps you to see things in a non-depressive way. Because everything in life is like, oh, everything is so miserable, life is so crap, and that's how I feel when I'm depressed. All of a sudden, I flip the script, I take a pen and a pad, and I start writing, or I write it down on my phone. And I send it out to someone, I text it to a mentor or I share it with, you know, on, on a video, whatever it may be, but I get it out there. So the next thing that really helped me, and I practice this every day, by the way, the other thing that really helped me, and this again has been scientifically proven, you can go and research this, is to do mindfulness, practice mindfulness and meditation. So be mindful about what's going on around you, being awake, to or being present you know every single day to what's going on when you're doing something do it with conviction when you're going to be in the room be in the room when you're talking to someone be there be present all of these little things when you're eating and drinking it doesn't matter what it is when i'm doing a video you know be present all the time why because you're staying in the moment what depression likes to do is to keep us in a comfort it's in place and often or not, believe it or not, our comforting place is pain, is misery, is fear. And, and it brings us to that place where we're scared to go to that next place, to that next level. And that's why being mindful keeps you away from here. So remember, again, we're doing things that are going to keep you away from, from, from your mind. And it also helps you to channel a different way of thinking, a different way of behaving so that when you are experiencing life, you're experiencing life not from a negative and low place, you're vibrating your energy in a different place, in a higher place, so that you can look, feel, and experience better things. So even what I talk about, and talk about gratitude, talk about being mindful and being present here with you now, talk about the next thing, which is meditation. I just did a meditation before I started this. I had a busy morning, but I wanted to always come in and I do a meditation, doesn't matter where I am. If I'm commuting somewhere, on a train or whatever it might be, on a plane, I, if I don't do it in the morning, I always make sure I do it throughout the day. Why? 
because it calms my mind. It relaxes my body. It connects me to, you know, to the world, and, and it makes me feel so grateful to be alive, so grateful to be here and to have these practices. This is why it's so important to, to put these things into place, talk to someone, practice daily gratitude every single day, practice mindfulness and meditation every single day, be in the present moment, be here today, right now, and put these little practices into place. These things should take you other than if you go and speak to a professional, gratitude, mindfulness and, and meditation should take you no more than 15 minutes a day, a day. If you just do it, in a, you know, if you want to do it in the morning and you want to do it in the evening, you, you can. Whatever suits you and practice it throughout the day. I do. I practice gratitude throughout the day. I, I, I always practice being mindful because being mindful, you want to do this you know, throughout the day. And it, sh it shouldn't be a chore, it should just be something that is going to be uncomfortable to start with because you're not used to, to having these practices in your life, like brushing your teeth, drinking you know, fluids every single day, eating food as you do every single day. These things then become part of your, or of your daily routine, you know, and then it's just like everything else that you do. So put it into practice and I want to share this because I'm seeing more and more and more you know, the, the rise in, you know, suicide, alcoholism, depression, you know, mental health issues, especially in the times where we are right now. You know, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm putting out there my experiences and how it's helped me. And, and often not, people say to me, is it really that simple? And I say, yeah, it is. The hardest thing is, is doing it every day. It is really that simple. It really doesn't take a pill to change how you're feeling because all you're doing with a pill is you're masking what's actually going on. You're masking, you're numbing. And I talked about this in previous videos, I talked about numbing. Numbing isn't solving the solution. Numbing isn't fixing the problem. All you were doing is you're just keeping that very tight, very quiet for a short space of time. When you start getting side effects and when, when the, the, the drug or whatever it is that you're taking wears off, then what happens? The problem is right there next to you, waiting for you to deal with it. And that's a lot when you're looking at depression <clears throat> in particular is because we're constantly, and I was, again, speaking from experiences and even clients that I've worked with before, the root of that problem often tends to be things that are happening, ha has happened to us in our past, things that we never dealt with, things that we've just thought, oh, this will be fine. And you can run as far as and fast as you like, but your problems will always catch up with you. And your depression will get worse and worse in time if you don't deal with it. And you can keep numbing and, num and numbing as much as you want, but as soon as you stop, the problem will always be there waiting for you. So do something about it today. And even if you are taking it, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not telling anybody to or not to take it. I'm talking from my experience is go and see a doctor and maybe put together a plan of doing these exercises and how you can then, you know, they can put a plan together to suit you um, and what will be best for you moving forward because you want to make sure that you're doing what's best for you as well as an individual because we are all very different. My experience is going to be very different from yours. So go and see a specialist, a doctor, a professional that can help you with that if you do want to wean off anything that you might be taking at the moment and you want to do something a little bit more natural. Get some advice with that. Listen guys, I am always here. Talk to someone, talk to me. This is something that I've been through and as I said, I'm a human being. Yes, I do this. I'm a motivational speaker, inspirational speaker. You know, I help people all over the place, but I am still human and you know and I want to share that I'm not feeling it today but it's something that has been on my mind um, for a little bit and I wanted to share it because we all need to talk about it and this taboo of you know it's weakness I can't show vulnerability this stuff is all BS stop believing that kind of stuff stop allowing your head to put you in that place because what you do then is you allow yourself to stay in depression you allow yourself to stay low in vibration you're allowed to stay at this place where you're watching everybody else's life move forward and you're stuck in that mud so get away from that and, and do something and trust me if you do this every single day you go and get professional help you just go and speak to someone and you do the simple things that i've guided you today 
I guarantee you every single day you will start to see a change in you as an individual. Your energy will start to rise. And if you don't or you don't like it, you can always go back to what you were doing before. And if that feels better, then that's a choice, isn't it? But for many people who I have guided through this, trust me, they don't ever want to go back and neither do I. So have an amazing day, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And as always, be great, be fantastic and be absolutely phenomenal today. And I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Remember to smash that like button, leave your comments and let me know if you are struggling and you do need to, to speak to, uh, to someone whether that's myself or Lucy, or we can refer somebody within our team. And remember to share, share this video. Let's help other men and other women, you know, to, to be able to cope with what's going on, especially with what's going on around, you know, us, you know, globally. There is a lot of fear, there's a lot of worry, there's a lot of stress, and that's gonna cause a lot of mental health issues, which, you know, in turn will cause us to, to feel depressed as well. And we wanna all be here for each other. Have an amazing day. I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Take care.